eight seats available. And if you guys want to filter in here, everybody standing three or four deep at the back of the room. But uh, good afternoon and welcome to the Ramsey Center. A really exciting day for us here at Western Carolina University. And welcome to all of those that are watching through our Facebook Live and our YouTube channel as well. Really exciting day here for the Catamounts as we uh, announce our next men's basketball coach. Uh, what we'll do here in a moment, we'll have comments from our athletic director, Mr. Randy Eaton, and he'll introduce our next men's basketball head coach. But for media members, we'll have a breakout session after we finish. Uh, no questions here in the main room. We'll go to a breakout session to have uh, any questions for our, our, our next head coach. So uh, again, uh, at this time, I'll go ahead and call up Randy Eaton, and we'll get the festivity started. Thank you. Thanks, Hook. It does look like a bar at the end of the night when the lights come on and all the guys are up against the wall. Feel free to sit if you'd like. Um, first of all, thank everybody coming out today, um, sharing this joyous occasion with us. Uh, it's been an eventful three plus weeks, as you can imagine. Um, over the last three days, before I get started, I, I do um, need to get one thing off my chest a little bit, because over the last three days, there's only been one person that could stop this. So Emily, am I good to go? Okay, mama's happy, everybody's happy. Um, I'd like to recognize, start off with um, our acting chancellor, Allison Morrison Shetler, who's been a rock for me, and, and let me kind of be out and on the road, and Melissa Wargo. Chief of Staff, thank you guys very much for everything. Uh, some thank yous I need to share. Uh, first of all, Shea Browning, rock star band. Uh, we're sharing stuff on contracts two, three in the morning, so uh, that's been huge. Thank you. My senior staff, who were heavily involved in this uh, from the start and went through every name and, and vetted every person. Uh, thank you guys. Head coaches, yesterday taking the time out uh, to, to meet with our new coach. I appreciate it and all your feedback. And finally, uh, two people, Larry Arbaugh, Larry Arbaugh and Stacy Miller. Raise, raise your hand, stop reading your phone, Stacy. Um, <laughs> they were on the road with me. They were my sounding board. They were two people that told me enough's enough. You found your guy. They were right. We started this three weeks ago and really began by searching the landscape. What do we need at WCU? More importantly, or just as importantly, what do we not need? You know, I, did, I didn't look at people who were maintenance programs. Folks that had came in at a program that had been winning 15, 20, 25 games a year and stayed level. That's not what I felt that we needed. We needed somebody who had been a part of a program or programs that had been built from the ground up success. We've had another program like that here recently, you know, and we're seeing, we're seeing the benefits of building the program, building the foundation of what we've done here. I did say early on that I wanted somebody with regional recruiting ties. Of course, everybody took for granted because I said that that's all I was looking for. No, I wanted national ties and regional ties. This guy brings to the table, international ties. That's a win-win-win. Also for us, it was very important to find somebody that understood that student will always come before athlete. That's who we are at Western. We graduate our student athletes and we're very proud of that. We're going to continue to do that. So the process really about, you know, three weeks and two days ago, uh, began in earnest looking at the landscape, figuring out what we needed, who we're looking for. We focused on a lot of potential candidates that, you know, you always keep that short list in your pocket. Well, our short list wasn't really so short. But we also looked at people that had interest in us. It wasn't just us having interest in them. And then, quite frankly, there was a lot of research I was on the phone or in person with a lot of people who live, breathe, work in college basketball. Not people that watch basketball on TV and think they know it. These people work in the industry. 
other head coaches, athletic directors, game officials, conference commissioners, supervisors of officials, guys that have been around the block for decades. I continue to hear one name from them. The one name is sitting down in front of me. We went from that point, we started calling people, spending hours on the phone with them, narrowed our list down even further, then got on the road and went and met with them. When it was apparent, after we came off the road that we had our guy, then it was a matter of bringing them home, selling mama on this is where she needed to be. So what did we get in our next coach? We didn't get a guy. We got the guy. We have the man to lead this basketball program. What I get to do, the fun part for me now, I get to watch Declan and Ava Grace grow up. I look forward to watching them drive Emily nuts. <laughs> and I look forward to the day, my friend, when you and I are gonna stand center court in Nashville and hoist that Southern Conference Championship trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, our new head men's basketball coach, Mr. Mark Prosser. I appreciate it and I certainly appreciate everybody uh, coming out today and it's certainly an honor for me um, and for us to be here and, and stand before you today um, and really what turned out to be an unbelievably perfect situation for uh, for me and my family and um, you know Mr. Eaton talked about it a lot um, but you know in, in the typical thing everybody you know come up and, and, and thank everybody and, and kind of go through the process of that but um, you know, I wouldn't be standing here, um, and, and we joked about it a little bit, but uh, if the three people sitting right in that front row were comfortable, um, we've been really, really fortunate, and, and we've been to some places that uh, have been great in, in this coaching profession that can kind of take you all over the country. Um, and we knew very quickly upon our arrival here uh, that this was the natural next step for us, that we were home when we walked, you know, into town and, and onto this campus, and it's, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, and it's been in a very, very wonderful way. Um, you know, it, it's, it's something that um, as you go through and you start to think about the people you want to thank, obviously my wife Emily is, is the first in the top of the list. Um, it's, it's, and we all do. We spend a lot of time in our jobs and, and our professions take us away from family and, and spend a lot of time, you know, working very hard to whatever we do in, in, in every walk of life. Um, college basketball coaching is no different, and if you don't have a strong support system at home, uh, it makes it really, really difficult, and I'm fortunate in that I can't imagine having a stronger support system, and uh, love you guys more than anything, and, and, and obviously they'll be present, and what you get kind of with us, and, and hopefully you'll feel it very, very soon, is you get the entire family, and you could probably tell already that you're going to, you know, we'll talk about, you know, with the players and, and making sure that when we play somebody that, you know, you're going to feel us. You're going to feel us offensively. You're going to feel us defensively. When that other team leaves the floor, you're going to have felt playing Western Carolina. You're going to feel their presence when they're around with Declan and Ava Grace. So I would, uh, I'll apologize for that <laughs> in advance if I need to. But uh, they're certainly, certainly wonderful. And, and we look forward to, uh, to getting settled in, which uh, is a process that we look forward to starting very, very quickly. Um, you know, Mr. Eaton and his senior staff throughout the entire process have been have been wonderful to us and um, you know it's it's funny I've been really fortunate again work very good place with very good players and, and had a chance to co coach in NCAA tournaments and, and coaching championship games and, and and that's all well and good and because of that you have the opportunity to get involved in you know some of these coaching searches and you know again it's 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 a testament more so to the people that I've had a chance to be around uh, I haven't made any baskets. I haven't gotten any rebounds in that uh, in that 15-year stretch, 16-year stretch. Unfortunately, um, you know we've had great kids and very good players and great coaches, uh, but they put you in a, a situation where when a job opens up, you might have a chance to get a phone call from somebody like Mr. Eaton. So we had had very and, and, and as well, and had very 
early kind of preliminary talks, and, and when that happens as a candidate, you're sort of waiting for that next call. And uh, I don't, we haven't even talked about this. I, we were kind of sitting in our kitchen one night and kind of waiting here, and I get a text from, from, from Mr. Eaton that says, can we talk? And normally when that text comes from the athletic director, it's not typically good news. Um, and I knew at that moment, my feeling in my heart, and, and my heart kind of dropped, and I was like, this, you know, I, I knew at that moment that this is the place that I wanted to be. Um, and our conversation went very, very differently than I had anticipated, kind of getting that first text. Um, and it, it's, been, it's been tremendous uh, ever since. Um, you know, I, I've, again, have to thank the head coaches that I've worked for. Um, you know, Wofford College, which I promise I won't mention very often, um, <laughs> or at least I'll try not to. Um, had a wonderful four years there um, and had some success and, and worked for, you know, a guy named Mike Young, who's a tremendous basketball coach who um, we we're going to try to beat his brains in every time we see those guys. Um, you know, I've been fortunate the last six years to work for Pat Kelly um, and, and Ken Halpin as our new athletic director at Winthrop, who are both tremendous people and tremendous um, leaders, and, and Coach Kelsey to learn from him and for a lot of very personal reasons. Um, it was a great experience for me. Um, it, Bucknell goes back several years for me, but working for a guy named Pat Flannery, who um, was sort of, after a year at Wofford and, and going to Bucknell and spending some time, uh, was a huge, huge, um, I guess, resource for me in learning the game and learning how to deal uh, with players. And, and certainly, uh, like Mr. Eaton said, learning that student athlete structure and, and, and you know, wonderful institutions that I've worked at um, and sort of built who I am and my belief system and the student athlete model that I, I think is, is still very strong. And then, um, you know, had the opportunity to work for an athletic director at the time at Brevard College named Juan Mascaro, who, again, I wouldn't be standing here if he hadn't gotten, given me that first opportunity to be a head coach. Um, and it was brief, you know, for, for some reasons, uh, again, that were very personal. Um, but I loved every minute of it. And, and so, um, you know, if, if it wasn't for them, you know, I wouldn't be here standing in front of you again today. And, um, you know, when you get us, like I said, you're going to get our entire family. So we'll have people coming from all over the place, um, you know, West Virginia, New York, kind of where our bases are. So they'll be down. My mother and, and brother will be here often. Um, you'll hear them, especially my mother at the games, um, you know, hopefully. And, and I'm sure a lot will be written, a lot will be said about, about my father. And, and, and certainly, you know, wish he'd be here, had been here right now. Um, he would be our biggest fan. He still will be our biggest fan. Um, you know, we hope we're making him proud uh, a lot of times in, in what we do in this coaching profession. So um, we're going to do everything we can not to ruin the, the good name that he's, he's made for us in the state of North Carolina. Um, and again, you know, we'll have in-laws and family members coming down from, from Albany, New York and, and all over the place. So um, just certainly very, very honored uh, to be here and to stand before you. Um, I want to thank all the coaches that are here and have gotten to know head coaches and, and a little bit of a sense of the coaches um, in our brief time here in the last 48 hours. It's a natural fit for us as a family because of the family atmosphere that already exists. And it was very readily apparent when we got on campus. Uh, these two didn't take off their, you know, Mr. Eaton was very, very kind and very uh, generous. And they had a couple purple Western shirts on. Uh, as soon as they got kind of out of the car and into the hotel, and they haven't taken them off since, but we had to fight to get them in what they're wearing right now. Uh, they're, you know, they embraced it very, very quickly because of the situation that was present when we got here. And, and having spent that time, and, and some people can fabricate it a little bit, there's nothing made up about that here. It's a family atmosphere. This department is a family. Um, and we knew, again, I knew a long time ago, we knew uh, very quickly upon our arrival that this was the place for us. And, um, you know, hopefully the, the negotiation process wasn't, uh, certainly wasn't hopefully on our end. It was uh, very easy for us, and, and we're looking forward to getting here, getting settled in, and getting started. Um, you know, the players that are here, um, you know, and a friend of mine who is a head coach said this at his press conference, and I took a lot of it uh, to heart, and I think it's very true. You didn't, you didn't choose me, and you didn't choose us, um, but we choose you, and, and we want to hit the ground running. Um, we want to get started quickly, and I don't know anything else than, than what Mr. Eaton's talking about. I don't know anything else than competing for championships and, um, you know, standing there at the, end of, at the end of whatever it is, March 4th, 5th, that first week of March, and holding that trophy and celebrating with, with the student athletes that are going to work really, really hard. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to win any Division One games. It's hard to win that last game. Uh, it's hard to be good, but if you're willing to invest the time and believe in a system and we're going to believe very strongly in what we're going to do. Um, you know, if you're willing to put that hard work in, I do think that that, that day is coming, and that day is coming quickly. And I'm certainly 
certainly excited for that. Um, I know that, um, you know, I, I said I'd be brief as we spoke, and I'm going to try to do that, but um, just, just trust that our staff and the young men that are going to be here representing you and the university and this institution uh, are going to take that very, very seriously, uh, and we're going to do it the right way. And it's, it's a time in college basketball, um, unfortunately, that there's some negative publicity and things like that. I promise uh, you'll never have to worry about any of that stuff with us. Um, we're going to go about it the right way. We have one of the best things that I've heard in my brief time on campus is everybody talks about what great young men are already here. Knowing the previous staff and knowing who they are as people, um, I believe that. I have utmost respect for, for the staff that was here. I remember uh, coming up here and, and, and you know, with assistant at Wofford and having unbelievably physical knockdown dragouts and Brigham's diving at people's knees and ankles and uh, really physical games and they were a lot of fun to be a part of. Um, so, because of, you know, the people that I know that are here that have been in place here, I would imagine you have wonderful young men here, and I've heard that, you know, since arriving. We're going to continue that. We're going to have great kids. Um, you know, my father kind of talked about it at the time, but we kind of carried it over. Um, in recruiting on campus, uh, our guys are going to be about the ABCs, and that's academics, basketball, and character, and we're not going to bring in young men that aren't about those three things. Um, you know, student athlete first, basketball players second that that love the game and want to be good and want to compete and hopefully want to play professionally are going to work towards that uh, and very, very high character young men. Again, they're going to wear that jersey that says, you know, the name of the institution on the front. Uh, and it's hard, you know, especially in this day and age for, for Division One student athletes and a, and a sport like ours that says, you know, sort of your name on the back and your university on the front and uh, you can see somebody's face and, and they're put on front street a lot. Uh, but with that responsibility, you know, with that, you know, the things that come with that, the publicity of that, the stuff like this that comes with that, uh, obviously comes with great responsibility also. Um, and we don't take that for granted. Um, and they'll be wonderful ambassadors of the institution, our department, uh, of the program, and of the university as well. Um, haven't had too much of a chance to get started, and, and, you know, we'll have a chance to sit down and talk with the team uh, very, very soon. Um, but we're ready to get after it. Uh, we have kind of a quick month here. and. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we have the press conference today, and then apparently I found out everybody leaves, <laughs> leaves today and leaves tomorrow for, for break, and, um, you know, which, you know, I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. But we'll get started very quickly on building kind of that championship culture um, and, and, and imp implementing the systems that I think will be very, very successful here. Um, and, uh, and I can't wait, and hopefully they feel the same way. Um, certainly, you know, again, any questions at all, I guess that's going to be, that's going to be after. Uh, but please know how excited we are as a family to be here, um, and, and we appreciate the opportunity. Um, and I can't imagine there was anybody you talked to. I know there wasn't anybody to talk, that you talked to in, in the last three and a half weeks. Probably a lot of you people talked to. I'm sure people reached out to everybody in this room uh, at one point or another to try to be standing in this spot. But you won't have somebody more passionate about leading this program than I am and that we are, uh, and we can't wait to get started. So thank you all for coming. I, I appreciate you being here. Um, we're going to be very, very <laughs> A present, approachable, the door's always going to be open, so hopefully I'll get to know everybody a little bit better um, over the next days and weeks and months uh, and hopefully years as long as Mr. Eaton will keep me and, and keep us here. So uh, thank you again, and I uh, look forward to talking to you all more so very soon. Do I get to keep these? Can I keep these? Again, I'd like to thank everyone for being here this afternoon and, of course, everyone watching at home on our Facebook Live and on our YouTube channel. Of course, media at this time, we'll move across the hall. We'll have our one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with, uh, with Coach. And, uh, again, thank you for being here and looking forward to it. Season tickets will be on sale pretty soon. Make sure you get them because uh, the seats in the Rams are going to fill up about as fast as the ones at uh, Whitmire Stadium. So you definitely want to be there for that. And uh, looking forward to, uh, to basketball season already. Of course, we still got a lot of football games to win in the meantime. But... A lot of good times to go. Coach Spear, there you go. Give you a shout out, right? <laughs> Appreciate everybody being here today. And again, uh, go Catamounts.